Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Arnie Diaz Show. Today's show, a review and discussion of David Lynch and Brad Pitt's new film, Bullet Train. Bullet Train is a story of several assassins who show up on the same train and then realize that their missions are intertwined and hilarity ensues. This movie is definitely a latest in the string of movies that date back all the way to like the genre that was bent and kind of created by Guy Ritchie Snatch. And there's really a line from that movie that kind of translates and correlates to movies that were made recently, such as like the John Wick franchise, where you have a bunch of assassins kind of coming together in this kind of Neo-Tokyo underground vibe that definitely perpetrates the entire production design of this film and a lot of other of these films that have come out in recent years. This movie definitely has a really spectacular cast, a lot of really quirky characters, and Brad Pitt's performance is actually pretty good here. He gives a little levity, he's kind of funny, he plays this assassin who's down on his luck, who actually doesn't really want to kill people anymore, so he plays kind of a pacifist dealing with the way that his luck is coming out, and he's actually taking this job as just a backup for another assassin who decided to step out for a day. And as the plot unfolds, it becomes a little convoluted because you're really following like five or six different stories all intertwining, and then they all coalesce together in the third act, coming together with what which what I think is a really fun kind of cartoony action flick that takes place in a train, but also with that Neo-Tokyo aesthetic. I really liked a lot of the character interactions in this movie as well. It made for most of the fun here. Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry, the guy who plays Paperboy on Atlanta, have a really amazing chemistry. They both have a really fun banter that I think really kind of comes off the screen every time they're on the screen. I really hope that there would be more of those two characters together. I'd really like to see those two guys do a movie together. I think it'd be really fun to see them in some kind of buddy movie type situation. Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry. Really, really fun together. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but there are some pretty crazy cameos in this movie. Also, you can really tell that Brad Pitt is trying to be a little bit more silly with his kind of action flair. And you can kind of tell that this is really Brad Pitt trying to kind of live out his inner Ryan Reynolds in the way he delivers his dialogue and the way he interacts with characters. My biggest criticism of the film is the fact that it is several stories intertwining with each other. And it, gives, and it does get bogged down by the weight of those stories. The characters are really quirky and fly off the screen and really make it for a fun kind of ensemble piece that has a little bit of whodunit, assassin fighting action, and definitely some really cool swordplay because it does take place in Japan. Also, uh, a legend, Hiroyuki Sonata, is in this movie as well. He is always awesome to see. He always brings his A game and he really does bring something really cool to the last part of the movie. I give Bullet Train a solid 8 out of 10. I had a really fun time with this movie. I think Brad Pitt was actually really funny. Towards the end of the movie, it became a little bit too cartoonish for me. And I think that some of the intertwining stories did become a little bogged down by just the amount of plots that you have to kind of navigate through. But ultimately, the really fun ensemble cast and banter between characters was really fun. And the direction of this movie is actually really good in that he's able to tell a lot of stories and a lot of really small vignettes that are really fun and carry the movie forward forward. Ultimately, I had a really good time. It's also really hard R, by the way. A lot of blood flying in this movie as well, but ultimately a really good time. Thanks for watching, guys.